Alana Hostel in Tanin, the disaster management team received a call about the fire in the early hours of this morning. Upon arrival, they managed to put out the blaze. Now, while continuing with the search and rescue operation, they discovered three bodies that were burned beyond recognition. One of the victims is a two-year-old child. The exact cause of the fire is unknown and the SAPS has taken over the scenes. Well, we cross over now to our reporter, Mike Maringa, who is on scene there as well. Mike, won't you just give us the latest out there? Good morning to you and good morning to your viewers. We are coming to you live from the Talani Hostel, like it was rightfully put. This is where three people uh, died this morning. They were burned beyond recognition. It's not the first time that we come here to cover an incident of, 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 that, of that caliber. We must also indicate that the confirmation we got now is that two adults have passed on and a, and, and a baby of, her, of about two to three years old. We must also indicate that it's the fire that started in the early hours of the morning and this is an informal settlement. As you can see and can hear behind us, there's a lot of noise. People started drinking as, as early as six o'clock when this fire started. But let me bring now the district mayor of Mopani, um, uh, Councillor Nkakareng Rahwal. Uh, mayor, good morning and welcome to SABC. A, a disaster has just struck. What exactly happened? We just received calls in the early hours of the morning that there has been a fire incident at Dalana, like you have correctly put, that is not for the first time. And we are here, we have sent our team's disaster management to respond, and uh, we are busy with the assessment. But what we can be able to report is that, uh, of course, it is a very bad situation. Also, the information we get is that three are also in the hospital. And let, let, let's talk about the situation, the situation itself. We see this is a, a very old hostel, and do you perhaps have any idea as to how many people are staying here? Are there any services that they are getting from either the local or district municipality? To tell you the honest fact, the number always fluctuates. It might not be easy to tell in terms of the number, but what we can tell is that just closer to here, there are about 120 RDP houses. At Mokulubu also there were houses that were built to also respond to this kind of a situation. Now currently the information we get from a local municipality is that there is a section one, um, 105, I mean, where they just been approved by the municipality, council is approved to make sure that they're going to build low-cost houses in order to try to reduce the number as well. As you can see, people behind us, they are Throw it, they are hailing insults at each other, they are intoxicated, but uh, nevertheless, nevertheless let, let us continue. Uh, is there any kind of aid that as the district municipality are bringing to uh, these people? What is happening is that we are going to provide uh, how, uh, a tent and also what we are going to do is to provide food. We are busy talking to ShopRite, it's going to deliver food in no time. An assessment is proceeding in making sure that we are able to determine what kind of help, but tents are ready as well, we'll be delivering tents, and also assessment will tell us whether we should move them to a temporary place or not. And we, 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 we have also noted that this disaster has struck just three days before Christmas. Is there anything else other than tents and, and, and food parcels that can be done? I mean, a permanent solution for, the, for these people, because like you have rightfully said, the number is fluctuating. Is there anywhere else where these people can be taken to as, 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 as a permanent uh, solution? To tell you the honest fact, like we're indicating, the information we're getting as well is that the RDP houses of Mokulobotu and those 120 they were meant also to make sure that we, we address this issue. So what we'll do also is to look at the, the possibility of that uh, section that has just been approved as well. Okay. We have seen that uh, uh, people are getting excited, but uh, it's a good thing that they are moving away from us. Lastly, uh, Mayor, we understand that uh, the district municipality acted very swiftly upon getting a call that there is fire here. Are you ready for the festive season if uh, uh, such incidents occur elsewhere in, under, under the, 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 the district? Our disaster management team is always ready to respond to any kind of disaster that will strike us. I think even yesterday we were looking at the one that was caused by the storms, So, which means that our team is always ready and they'll be always ready to respond to any kind of a situation that will come across. That was the district mayor of uh, Mopani, Councillor Nkakareng Rahwale. I was supposed to be speaking to um, an eyewitness who was here, who indicated to us in the morning that he is the one who called emergency personnel to come 
to come and assist. It looks like he has disappeared into the crowd, but as soon as we locate him, we will, we will um, definitely get him to talk to us, to give us the first-hand information as to what exactly transpired. Because one, one thing that he said to us is that he was sleeping in the house, in, in a house across the road when he heard screams of people um, uh, uh, who were in need of help. When he woke up, uh, the, the, the whole area was engulfed in fires. We are talking about 14 rooms that have been gutted down. Ah, here, here he comes, one David Mahuela. Mr. Mahuela, we were looking for you. Uh, we understand that you are the person who responded to, who responded to this swiftly and, and called um, emergency personnel. What exactly happened? Uh, first, I was, I was sleeping at my house. So I just heard somebody, she was screaming. She says, the shack is burning. So then, after that, the first, I one hour and one hour and ten thirty hours. I was in the before incident But like a village in wonderful security from Guyane, uh, three to four thousand. Can you go to the city? I will be able to get the city. I will be I will be able to get the We overpopulated. Three to number of five thousand. But we are overpopulated. I will be able to get municipality. I will be able to get the government. I will be able to get the toilet. I will be able to Vagagala Modistratini, Mills at least to Anova or Nanyana, Motaraso and Alo and Nova is in York. Eh, record what Rova and Chiva Dulanka Mogava to Vauja Cantle. Tawakin need to Lorona, Lidula, Lidula Yang Livona, Liva Filema Dulo or Rabano Akela Mukuk. The most giddy Chemija Marara or Nagare Lora Garnet, all South Africa, Sunday Retreat, equal relegan. Are you going to discriminate a motor? Are you going to Kidi chomicha magaga vore na vata. Baba ngoba no yikagala miku. Baba ngoe like na nagit lega merego. There is no rikebe gona mo. It's because merego mo gebe rikan gona gitsa na kafai footlock. I I can manage the transport from my place to here. Kana kwa gona kwa sagena. Before before kutlo hala utama ya maspala gona mo ne kubelela lebona. Linya ka orobat lisha di tiro lechedi ifi. Lebona lebona kare. Is there any other place mo bagali shangon? Le Felolo or not in the legionaria dinag, Cosbato, Bana Babele, or minute after minute. Renale problem lack of anger and starvation, Lima Dulu Arnal won. Abatavar de Ledin, the Kahalavan or Refadi empty promise, Lady Nagoja devoted Vano Tabaro, Lava Canvasa, Mar Aunin Drelor Vardir Lajon. Rela Bile, Rela Bile, Cos Renagana, Lady Terello, the trailer Tavana, Busto Tibile. That's why I was going to say that I was going to say that I was going to say that that was David Mahuela, one of the eyewitnesses who was here when this fire started. But briefly, what he was saying is that there are about four to five thousand people who are living here. There are no ablution facilities. People help themselves on the, on the streets because they, they share very few toilets which cannot accommodate all of them. But one thing that we have also picked up is that majority of the people who are staying here are foreigners and you know as such they don't qualify for RDP houses. But he has made a call to the municipality to say as much as they do not qualify for RDP houses, the municipality must come and give them water. They must also provide ablution facilities. And it's now back to you in the studio. Our reporter Michael Maring out in Zaninde in Limpopo, excellent reporting there out with a succinct and full story, comprehensively detailing that fire then that happened out in Zaninde.